everybody, it's Kara Webby, your favorite Pesca Vinny Vegan, coming to you for our last Meatless Monday of 2020. All right, today's is from brownvegan.com, fire roasted chickpeas and rice. Quick and easy. I'll put the link to the recipe down below. All right, so it says put one teaspoon oil or vegetable broth in the pan and a skillet to saute, and I just use this. And now I've got some garlic in there. It says three garlic cloves. I used my garlic granules. And it says to, in a large rim skillet, saute the garlic for 10 seconds on medium low heat. So I'm gonna turn it on here. And we're gonna saute it for 10 seconds. And then it says to add in tomatoes, drain the juice first, and cook for five minutes on medium heat. So the tomatoes are two 15-ounce cans of fire-roasted tomatoes. Fire-roasted. Two cans of those. I've drained the juice already, and we're going to let those cook on medium heat for five minutes. So we've cooked the garlic here on low heat for 10 seconds, just to get the flavors roasted a little bit. One of my uh, friends who watches here on YouTube um, and Rumble said to do that even with the garlic granules. So I did. Thank you, friend. I think that was Nikki who told me that. From Nick's Picks. All right, so we're putting the fire roasted tomatoes in there. Two cans, juice drained. Don't you hate it when like one or two little tomatoes get stuck on the rim in the can? <laughs> get out of there. All right, there's one. And two. I love me a good fire roasted tomato, don't you? All right, so it says, cook for five minutes on medium heat. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll come back. Okay, I'm back. The tomatoes have cooked for five minutes, and now it's time to add the cumin and the chickpeas. You're gonna add one teaspoon of cumin. We still have it on medium heat. And then we're gonna add two 15 ounce cans of chickpeas, which have been drained and rinsed. So two 15 ounce cans of chickpeas drained and rinsed. Stir this together, cover and cook for seven minutes. All right, so I've stirred that up. I'm going to cover it and cook it for seven minutes, and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. The chickpeas have cooked in the tomatoes, the fire roasted tomatoes, with the cumin for seven minutes on medium heat, and so now we're going to the next step, which is coconut milk. A can of coconut milk, it says to shake the coconut milk before opening it. And it says to stir in the coconut milk, salt, and black pepper. So it's gonna be one can of coconut milk. Shaken, not stirred. <laughs> All right, one can of coconut milk and then one teaspoon of salt. And then it says half a teaspoon of black pepper. chef measuring thing don't mess up on me now all right now it says reduce heat and cook for another five minutes so we're reducing the heat down to low stirring this all together and then it says cook for another five minutes it does not say to cover it this time right reducing cook yeah no cover this time this is gonna let the sauce Thicken, marry the flavors together. 
Okay. So I'm going to set the timer for five minutes. Also, once that's done cooking, it says to serve with rice and garnish with fresh cilantro if you want. I never really use the cilantro, um, but I do serve it with rice. So as we're cooking for five minutes here, I'm also going to cook the rice. This is minute rice, and if you have two of them, then it's 90 seconds. So I'm going to cook this, two of these actually. I'm going to do four total. There's two cups in each one. So I'm going to do four total cups of this while this is simmering, and then we'll put the rice in and mix it together. So I'll come back when I'm ready to put the rice in. All right, everyone, this simmered for five minutes and then I let it simmer for five more minutes so that the sauce would thicken and I added the rice. And so this is our fire roasted chickpeas and rice. Smells wonderful. I wish I had smell-o-vision so you could smell it, but it's really, really good. And if you follow the recipe, like I did exactly as she wrote it, I didn't have to change anything on this one. So if you follow it exactly as she wrote it, the seasoning is perfect. It says adjust seasoning as necessary, but I didn't find it necessary. Um, it's perfect the way it is. So enjoy.